Wish TV Golden Apple Award is presented by Bailey and Wood Mortgage Lender. New on Daybreak, time to honor one of Central Indiana's top teachers. It is our Golden Apple Award. We show up to a school with cameras rolling, $500 and a trophy, and it's all based on nominations from the people who know the teachers the best. Brennan Donnelly is here to tell us uh, and show us how this surprise went for one very special art teacher. He is fantastic, and I'm so excited for you to meet him and to see this surprise. He's so much more than an art teacher. His name is Mr. Dan Mooseberger, or Mr. Moose, as the student call him and he just started a new class at Hamilton Southeastern High School all about living the mantra art is for everyone fill in the blank high school is difficult good it's about finding yourself the lifting up others along the way art is boundless awesome and creative outlet excited but it wasn't always that way. Take two students who don't love art, Olivia and Bridget. I just wanted to focus on my engineering classes and my science classes. I was nervous myself for the first time. They were paired up in a new peer art mentoring class. And guess what happened? So we turned on Cheeseburger in Paradise, which is her favorite song ever. And she was dancing, I was dancing, and also now out of nowhere, Mr. Moose starts dancing. And he goes, I have never danced in a class in my entire educational career. And he's over there just dancing away. And he just really helps the students open up. She's amazing, she's confident, and she's beautiful. They say Mr. Dan Mooseberger brought them together. He looked at our high school and he saw that there was an adaptive physical education class. And he realized that there was no art class adapted for these students. And so they were missing that creative side of their education. And so he made it so they have a, a creative outlet at our school and the kids just love it so much. I think word kind of spreads about how cool this class is and other students get involved. You can tell special ed teachers see this as a lot more than an art class. I mean, everyone just wants to be accepted and loved and just to see my students being accepted for who they are is a really cool thing. I guess I do want to express myself. In fact, she says he's inspiring her to... To be a nice, strong woman. So we think he's golden apple worthy. He's so humble too, like he's gonna be completely shocked by this. and have won the WISH TV Golden Apple Award for being an exceptional teacher. So obviously we've got some video cameras and quite a few people here uh, to honor you, but there's a couple other surprises that come with this already pretty cool surprise. Okay. Bailey and Wood is our sponsor, okay. and they're here to tell you what you've won with this. Okay. Here's Bailey. Yeah. Well, here's a trophy just to honor you, and we just want to say thank you for all you do for your students. Obviously, you're very loved here at your school, okay. and we just want to say extra thanks with this $500 check oh, just for you. I really appreciate everything they're doing. I just, you know, I just do what I love, and it kind of shows up, I guess. We've learned a lot about you uh, in the last few days. We've done some interviews secretly <laughs> about you, and we want to show you the nomination video that we've made to honor you. Can we do that? Yes. Art has definitely been a creative outlet. All the students call him Mr. Moose. Dan's somebody that um, leads with his heart. Oh my gosh, he's by far my favorite teacher of all time. Like, he is so amazing. Thank you for being my art teacher. When you talk to him, I want to say thank you so much, so much for being awesome. Mr. Moose, you just changed the way I view art classes. You've changed the way I view other students. Everything I do now is how can I make something more adaptive to them. And you inspire me daily to be a better teacher. I hope to one day have the same impact on my students that you've had on me. I don't think you'll ever know how much they really appreciate 
the experience that you've given them. What do you think if you watch that video and hear what your students really think about you? Um, you know, it's it's just incredible. I mean, it's just you don't realize what you're doing. You know, you just you show up and kind of, you know, just try and be consistent. And, you know, things aren't easy for anybody right now, but um, just. I don't know, when you, you get, when you got people like this behind you, it's a lot easier to do it. So. <laughs> Those good things make the next step better, you know? And like I told one of my students the other day, you know, keep your head up because you don't know what's coming at you. So, what, what, good, what good is coming toward you, so. Including two video cameras. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you again and congratulations. He's right. You never know what good is coming your way. And his class, by the way, still going on during the pandemic. The exceptional learners and general education students just meet online to work on art projects at the same time. They say they love getting to catch up with friends during the week. <laughs> and friends, such an important, important <laughs> word, it seems like, in his playbook. That's what he's all about, is connecting those students and, and creating those friendships. It is. Them. It's one of his main goals, to help them become friends with each other and, and integrate more into the school. Sometimes special education's just on one wing of the school, and he wants them to be more visible. And their teacher, in fact, says it's making a big difference for them. They're learning confidence. Uh, even things like attention span uh, is increasing with this program. Even as you celebrate the current winner, you're probably <laughs> looking for more nominations these two always looking ahead you got it <laughs> Scott for folks at home who heard this story and think I know a fantastic teacher please tell me their story go to wishtv.com golden apple and nominate a teacher today Brenna thank you